Alrighty, folks. Back on another Friday for another floss tube. Ha ha ha, weekly update. And this is weekly update number 10. So, I am Joyfield Stitcher, Annie. M. Annie. And then I am Joyfield Stitcher here on YouTube and on Instagram. And like I said, this is floss tube number 10. It's Friday, July 19th. And this is my 10th of weekly ramblings that I've spent with you. So, coming to you a little later this Friday because the child, the beautiful daughter, is home instead of at the grand parental's house. That is okay. They had some plans and so she spent the night last night and the night before and so tonight she's at home, which means I don't start until she is snoozing into dreamland. So, let's chat. This week, what did I do this week? I did some stitching. I wouldn't have anything to show if I didn't do any stitching. Got some stash. Did some kidding. Organized some floss. Worked at school for a little bit. Getting some administrative type things, some paperwork type things done. And it was a good week. It was a really good week. It was really hot. So it's been as much time inside or in the air conditioning of my car as possible. So, if you are living somewhere where it has been insanely hot lately, I feel ya. I'm already ready for October, because that's about the time we start to finally get that Christmas and crispness in the air. So, come on October, plus that's my birthday. So let's talk about what I worked on this week. So I'm going to pull out my bingo bag first, and there's some overlap. I've realized that there's some overlap between what I stitched on with bingo, and then what I worked on with um, School of Magical Stitches homework. So I'm just gonna share what's in this bag first, and then we'll go from there. So this is a project bag that I got from a swap, and I have shoved all my bingo pieces in here, and then I have all of my flosses for those numbers specifically in here. So this week, I think it was 434 I worked on in this piece and this is um, I think this was a new start since last week oh I think it was which means I need to show you a picture because I don't have a picture in here so one minute this is Country Cottage Needleworks should give me a picture that I'm wanting to see. Yep. So this is um, Country Cottage Needleworks. Angels we have heard on high. But I'm doing, I you know, I can't just rest with cream colored fabric. So I am doing this on a piece I dyed myself and I've only done just this small portion of this, um, I think it's 434. So, um, I actually misread an instruction and stitched 50. And that didn't count, which, okay, whatever. And then I stitched, I it actually got called later on in the week and so I stitched 50 on that. Okay, so then I put in some time on um, Fort Worth, I think for either two or three numbers. I think I only had um, 550 the last time I showed this, but now I have put in um, 50 stitches into 775 across the way, 581 and 553. And I actually goofed and I was stitching this um, story time. Tuesdays, first and third Tuesdays, our LNS, um, our, excuse me, our local stitching group has a meetup at our LNS that's close by, close in the Metroplex. And I haven't been able to go to any all summer just, and also kind of, I hate to say this, it's hard, I'm, I'm friendly, I'm outgoing, but like I do have that little bit of like, I don't know these people, they don't like me, whatever. So I finally mustered up the courage because I realized this would be the last one of this summer that I would be able to go to. 
and um, literally five minutes after leaving my house, had a flat tire on the freeway. So while I was waiting on for my husband to come pick me up, I was stitching on 553. The problem was I had my piece turned this way and put it right here. So there's still a little bleh there from where the purple was. So I ripped those out when I realized it was wrong, restitched them. So I actually um, stitched, frogged, and then restitched. So we, we could count that as 150 that I did because I reverse stitched. So I've gotten some in that, and that was a restart from a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so then this is where there is some overlap with homework. Um, one The task of homework was things that are um, favorites of Professor Umbridge. And so um, one of her things is the color pink, so we had to do 200 stitches in pink. So I pulled out Mysterious Halloween Town, and I did this border right here. And this is in um, Classic Color Works Carrie Berry, which is roughly equivalent to um, DMC 3806, which is flamingo pink. So I put 200 in that. And then the other one that I also used for homework and put in some stitches for the color was on Wizard Pusheen. And so 839 was called, so I did some 50 stitches in 839, somewhere around in this area. And then I put in 200 stitches here, and that is his tail. That was not a good thing. I'm, I'm just being perfectly honest. That was not, I'm, I don't normally have my head like in the, ne the gutter. That wasn't a good thing to stitch. That's his tail. Mm -hmm. It's his tail. Okay, so that was things that I worked on for bingo and a little bit into homework. So then I decided, let's see, what else did I work on for homework? I'm trying to figure out what I worked on for homework. That was Mysterious Halloween Town's pouch. Well, this is Mysterious Halloween Town's pouch. And in case you're not familiar with the finished product, that is what it will look like in a Hess Cube. Mrs. and Mrs. and Mr. Frankenstein and a turquoise scarecrow and cute little green witch. So cute little pattern. I'm trucking along on that. I've got quite a bit of a ways to go. Okay, so then three other tasks for homework. So that one was you had to stitch because you love kittens or cats. And that is my only piece with a cat. Cats are not something I gravitate towards stitching on. Okay, so then let me think about what the task was for this. I think this was actually no I lied this was an extra credit so I will come back to that so the other one do I have a picture of wizard oh let me show you wizard pushing there's wizard pushing okay so here's my thoughts on wizard pushing I am stitching it in Ravenclaw colors so I'm changing the scarf to blue and gold and I had this thought because it has glasses see glasses is, excuse me to stitch the glasses one blue one pink and kind of do like little things like this so they look like Luna's spectra specs I had that thought the other day when I was in the shower I have great thoughts in the shower so I thought ooh, okay so that's gonna be good so now I have to like remember that so that when I get to stitching the glasses I don't just inadvertently stitch them in 839 and I actually pull a pink and a blue so this is in my Quidditch at Hogwarts pouch and I promise there is a video coming on a tutorial on the sleeves. We have to figure out how to film that and how to not make it like real time. Speed it up and things like that. So I've got to do a little more investigating on that. All right. So then I think one of them is tea. She loves tea. Now I'm going to have to look that because I don't remember. Because I don't remember the other three. I know pink was one. Kittens was one. I apologize. My allergies are bothering my eyes and making them extra itchy this evening. How's everybody? Hope you've had a great week. Gotten some stitching in. Okay, yes, tea or tea cups. So I will show that one, that one last because I did two tasks on this one piece. Okay, so then we had to pick a design that starts with one letter from the word rules. So I chose spring acorns my blue flower because spring acorn starts with s 
And so um, I put in 200, a little over 200 into this, this week. Let me move this out of the way so you can get a full feel. <clears throat> I am one of those that still sticks her needle in her brow draft. That's going to come back to bite me one of these days, but it hasn't so far, so. So here's where I am now. I'm loving it. So I chose to focus my 200 stitches in this, um, it's Gentle Arts Raspberry Frost, and work on filling in the details in each of the eight points. And so I think I ended up doing like 209, 229, I can't remember exactly. But I am loving this piece. This is on a 16 count picture, this plus in Heartland. Um, so yes, and I'm sorry, I did not say my fabrics on some of the other ones. Um, Wizard Puss Sheen is on a 16 count picture this plus in Demoiselle. Um, Fort Worth is on an 18 count Ada that I got off of a seller on Stash Unload. Mysterious Halloween Town is on a piece. I don't remember who the company is. But it's Lavender Sunset and I believe it's a 14 count that I got off of 123 Stitch. And then um, Spring Acorns, as you can maybe remember from another video, lives in a Love You More Studio Co pouch. There's a Tula Pink Squirrel fabric. Okay, so then the other two tasks that I did one was tea or teacups, and then one was um, designer that fits the word strict. So it has to be the first, first or last name of an actual designer or the first letter of a design company's name. So I have been mulling over a restart on um, Silver Creek Samplers, seeing a sampler. So this is where, I don't have a picture of the original, but I have a beautiful piece of fabric for this, so I will be ripping this out at some point in time. Um, so this is where I'd gotten to and I sat down and I looked at it and I was looking because I knew I wanted to use this for this task. I'd been mulling over a restart and I'll tell you why. One was these letters blend. This is the called for and this is a close to what the called for fabric was. The letters blend. So that bothers me that you can't really read it. And this is, a, this was, you know, a good amount of work. The second reason is, is I saw what the incredible Jan Hicks was doing with her piece that's like this where she did the rainbow conversion and then um, so I went to and I don't want to put that back in the pouch because it's gonna get to my bucket of rip outs so she shares in her video I, I think I originally somebody mentioned it to me in a comment on my piece either on Instagram or in a video about her doing it. And then I had watched her video that was on, I think it was getting ready for Stitch Mania, her Stitch Mania Get Ready Whip Parade. And I saw what she was doing. I was like, that's genius. So she won, and I've seen a lot of people do this. Instead of doing one long piece, they stack the four blocks, four blocks, and then they do the title across the top and the bottom. And it requires a little bit of recharting to get that to fit because in the original, patterns one and two cuts off three quarters through a word and then it continues on because it's across a long piece well if you were to do that and do patterns one and two your word would be cut off funny so i sat last weekend and i recharted the four blocks like in i just used stitch fiddle and just the outer portion proportion so i would know how wide does it need to be and things like that and then i worked on converting or recharting not converting recharting the top and bottom saying and then I also um, recharted the running girl because it was just like a girl with a ponytail and shorts and a t-shirt and this was something I've seen several people do I know coffee stitcher did this the person that Jan Hicks references did this and then I think Jan Hicks maybe herself is also doing this where they change it to look like Maria. So I did a rechart on that. So big pieces of this are the words are charted in TMC 550. So a deep, deep, deep purple 
the outer boxes and the large words are charted in rainbow. So this is a dark red, an orange, a, a yellow, a green, kind of a tealy blue, an indigo blue, a deeper purple, and then kind of a fuchsia pink, fuchsia pinky purple. So I sat down and pulled out and I went through and I recharted the whole thing. I did where I figure everything out and I'll just show you for time's sake. These are my I'm using up some of my awesome Victoria mottos. So as I said, the words are gonna be in, in um, just kidding, that's something different. I don't know where my 550 is unless I decided to use that. And I might have, I'm not sure, okay. So I've got um, Victoria motto, Scarlet Carnation, Gentle Arts Bittersweet. Um, this is Color and Cotton Buttercup. This is Gentle Arts Pine which is one that Jana is using and the person that she quote credits, which was, I want to say this right, because this was my printout that I was using to reference. Um, Jennifer Drinka, and she saw hers. Um, and then Weak Star Works Glacial Mist, Weak Star Works Merlin, that's my indigo. That's another one that I'm using that, um, Jan and Jennifer used. And then Tropical Orchid by Victoria Motto, Fuchsia Rainbow. And I think I might have decided to use Weak Star Works Concord instead of 550. And then I went through and pulled from my Overdyed's glosses to be able to do all of the rest of the chart. So it took a fair bit of time, like almost all of Sunday afternoon. But I enjoyed that, so it was okay. Um, this project is living because it has rather a large amount of things in a full size, so not standard, but full size, Levy Moore Studio Co. pouch, and it's one of their snug, snuggle ones, and it's in plaid. This is on a piece of Mystic Hand Dyed 18 Count in Snurt, which Snurt, I just found out because I'm the, didn't see it originally, is Snow Ice Dirt. So it's kind of her muddied up. So what I have worked on, I did two tasks on this. I did the one about strict, the designer restricts because Silver Creek samplers. And then I did um, tea because the block for tea, tea, a drink with jam and bread, has a teacup. I'm not there yet, but you didn't have to actually stitch on it. So I, one of the tasks got mm, all of the orange block and one, half of one leg of the red and then the other 200 plus got me the rest of the red and the D and I'm loving how rich these colors are. And I mean, my camera is not doing them justice, but um, I'm really excited about this. And I was really excited about the, the pattern when I first tracked it down or saw it and then got started. And then I lost excitement when it was kind of like blah. I mean, it's such a like upbeat. It's such an ex fun song. It's like it's cheery. And most of the colors are cheery, but some of it was kind of like all of the brown for all the writing it was a lot. So that being said, that was that covered all of homework. That was more than a thousand stitches into those, plus the ones for bingo. So then I also worked on, I think I did one extra credit task for magical stitches in, um, on. This is my Prairie Schooler Christmas Tree Farm. This is as charted. I am doing a custom color conversion. This is on an 18 count under the sea fabrics in Ice Princess. And so I, this got me this house finished, these two skews that thread, these two trees, the road, the sign, the little tree on the sign, and one row of that. I have one more extra credit this month slotted to this and it will get me the remainder of this sign filled in and I think a tree or something to get me over here and then a lot of border. I'm going to bust out some border. Um, kind of some mindless stitching once you get your kind of where you're going with it. Um, so again, this is a fun project for me. It seems to be one that I want to gravitate towards pulling for, for tasks and things. Um, but this month it's been for extra credit. And I think, 
so I'm that was the beginning of last weekend so then I've come back to I've come back full circle um, I've completed now with that one complete I've completed four I had them I have two tasks per project and I did that this 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 go round because I feel like I want to see the impact that a thousand stitches has on a project so I tried to find a project that I wanted to work on and it would work for two of the tasks and so what I initially did was said okay I want to do this one first second third fourth fifth and then I went back and then the sixth one that I do will be back to number one the problem with that is is that I have slotted to start Nora Corbett's V fairy the letter V fairy um, as my daughter's piece but I want to start it on like her birth date her birthday's in January but her birth date her revolving date each month will be 24 so I kind of wanted to start her on the 24th I got ready to start another one and I wasn't ready and that was number five so I was like okay skipping to number six so I am back this is um, I don't have the picture I think I have it on my phone this is Dinah's garden um, by Lila Studio. I'll give you some specifics. This is on a 14 count Ada by Silk Weaver in Ray of Light that I got off of a D stash on eBay. So this is what it will look like when finished. So I had the large basket, the large strawberry, and a little bit of this border done and these yellow Quaker star kind of looking things at the top. So where I've gotten today, and I'm almost done with the 500, because I just am like, my 500 was just get this green all done. Get, get the kind of green to get to the fun strawberries and things like that. So I've worked on this border, this vine-like border, and then some over here as well. So you can see, I love this, how it almost looks three-dimensional once you get that little lighter green down the middle. Same thing with the, the different tones in the strawberry and the different tones in these leaves. So I'm trucking along on this one. I'm loving this. I love this right here. And I love this. And the lady is so cute in her pink dress. She's in this lighter pink with some red accents, so she kind of offsets. So I should have this done tomorrow. It won't be tonight because once this is all said and done, I don't usually stitch. And this one is in this cute pouch. This is some fabric I got off of Etsy. Some little tiny strawberries. And then it's got pink and white gingham and then a floss. And that one is all in the called fours, which are classic, all classic color works. And I'm loving working with classic color works. So let's talk about plans. There is a pop-up event going right now, but I'm really struggling with which project to pick. Um, because it cannot overlap with a homework, which I'm done with, it cannot over overlap with a um, extra credit task, it cannot overlap with a year-long task, it has to be something completely different. I'm trying to make sure that I can use it for something. So I've kind of gone back over and seen, okay, what do I have that I need to stitch on for the 24-hour acrostic challenge? And I have a lot of those slotted for HL Moth. So I have until tomorrow night, although we're ch I've just been invited to go over to Dallas to go to a restaurant and visit this Italian market. Well, that's all afternoon. So it'll only be what I get done in the morning. So I think I'll try to get some stitches in that for that. And then get the Dinah's Garden finished and then I'll go on to the next on my list for that. Actually, I kind of want to spend some time on my Christmas piece, my Mary Sampler. I don't really have any that dipping into anything for, actually, I take that back. That's one of my year, it has two year long challenges. Plotted out on it, so that could be good. I'm kind of all over the place. So, let's see. Talked about what I stitched on, talked about kind of what this week looked like. Then we're gonna get a stash, which is super fun. And I totally forgot something, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So do you remember, this is if you've been watching me for a little bit, back when I was buying fabrics, 
I had found a um, great shop on Etsy. It's called Brew Stitched, B-R-E-W Stitched, who has great fabric. Sorry, it was a little bit, it's gonna be a little crinkly. However, do you remember that I said I had pre-ordered some fabric? Specifically, New Riley Blake Wizard of Oz fabric. So again, without giving you my information, it's brew stitched. So I thought I'd open it live. Okay, it's not live, but I would record myself opening it. So it arrived today. I have only just, just now you could hear me, opened the top of the package. It's not hidden or anything. A little bit of crinkly ripping. Rip. Rip. Okay, so let me let me just glance at them. Okay, first of all, how cute is this? They sent me a nail file. That's pretty awesome. Just unique. Here's a cute card again. Brew stitched. Brew stitched. Dot Etsy dot com. It says. Grab a cup, shop, and make. Cute. Okay, so, oh my gosh. So, let me see if I can remember how I had put these together. Because I had put them with like a coordinating. So let me think about how I did this. I don't remember exactly. I think it was those two together. There's a glance, a glance at it. Yeah, I think this is right. Okay, are you ready? So you've got, this is like Yellow Brick Road and it's on this peach background. Wait, cause like this, oh, holy cow. And I'm not even kidding when I say this, I didn't even know this, Tin Man and the flying monkey's wings have like a tiny bit of shimmer. Tiny bit of shimmer, how cute. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so this is a oh, scarecrow. I love it. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. Oh, look at it. It's Glinda. Glinda. She's not in pink, but that's okay. I like blue too. Okay, so that was one set. I think I ordered halves. I think because it was a pre order, I had to do halves. Okay, so then I don't know which one to show you next. This kind of reminds me of what I think the wizard's like plaid would look like. And then look at how cute this is. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at how freaking stinking cute. And the tornado. And the farm. Ugh. Love. Love. I cannot wait to make a pouch aside love. Okay, so that was two. Might do a giveaway later on when I have more people. Tell your friends. Okay, so then we have Dorothy's plaid. Look at how cute this is. Got the yellow brick road. Got Munchkin Land. Got Emerald City. Got Follow the Yellow Tin Man. Oh, and he's sparkly in this one too. And then the apple trees. They're even like ready to throw their apples. Hey you. Toto. Let's see what else we got for this one. Oh, and look. The balloon. Oz's balloon. Or not Oz's balloon. Wizard's balloon. Look at how cute that is. Shut up. Okay, Riley Blake is a genius. I love her fabrics and they're so soft too. So yay, that's exciting. They also had some really, they had a really cute panel. Um, so like if you were a quilter, you'd buy, you could buy the panel and then you could buy the pieces to go around it and make a cute design. And then for your sashing and you know, all of that. So cute. So I had to open those with you. So that was one big like thing because I've been waiting for those. And they came in mid-July, just like they said. Sorry, that was crinkly. I apologize. 
so that was an exciting thing. Toss that over there. All right, so then I did mention, I'm gonna go with this next. So a week or so ago, maybe, three, Trisha at Three Isle Threads posted that she was gonna post her soda stitch patterns in her albums on her Facebook group and they were gonna be on sale. She said, come on, come all. Um, and then whatever wasn't was left would go um, into her Etsy shop. It, Etsy shop. So if you are a fan of Soda Stitch, last I checked, which might have been two or so days ago. Yeah, I think so. They were still on Facebook. So if you go to it's Three Owl Threads uh, pre-sale group, they were in there in her photo albums. If they're not there, they'll be in her Etsy shop. So I ordered two. I re restrained myself. So this kind of coincides in just a minute. So one of them I got was my daughter loves the Nutcracker. Have you seen the Nutcracker in the Four Realms? It's so good. It's so good. Okay, so she's loving that right now, and she loves the Nutcracker. So I thought this was so cute. So I'm excited about that one. At some point, I don't know when. It's the theme of my life. And then look, <gasps> Wizard of Oz. So that can go in one of my pouches when I make them out of that cute fabric. So yeah, that was fun. And uh, Trisha usually has cute mailers, super cute mailers. This one looks like um, one that would go to Michelle, Bendy Stitchy, for her Hawaii vibes. Okay, so I talked about how I went to my local LNS on Tuesday, and um came home with a bag of goodies. I didn't buy any fabric. Yay! Because there's plenty of fabric in this bucket that arrived. But I did find some really good patterns and stuff. Well, first, cute, fun, stitchy friends. One, I've never met these people before, but they welcomed me in. They shared their goodies with me. One person had said that their, um, an aunt, a relative had passed away. And they were getting rid of her stitchy stash. She brought a whole, excuse me, a small pile of stuff. And so I, she said, hey, would you like to look through what's left? I was like, yes, please. So I got this song, this is on cardstock too. This is Prairie Schooler Reindeer Roundup. So I'm excited about this one. I might actually stitch this one in the called four colors. Maybe, we'll see. So that was one cute thing. And then Tina met, is, venturing into making pouches and things and she had this cute small one she said take it take it and I was like no and so I gave her a little bit of money and she said oh I'll go to use that to buy more fabric so I'm just have some fun some of my extras like an extra stylist for my iPad my seam ripper two pairs of snips and then a counter which is counted up to 273 on its own I picked this one because I happen to have this Love You More Studio Co pouch with me that day. It was like they were meant to be. So I snagged this. This is fantastic. So if she ever starts making them for real, I'm gonna share her info because so cute. And I mean, I know that there's some drawbacks to putting your actual stitching into vinyl, but I don't think accessories are a problem. So cute. So there's that. So okay, and then, I went and rummaged, actually didn't rummage there. I brought the bin over to my table and I decided to rummage through the bin of the sales stuff, the clearance stuff. Oh, let me find it some clearance stuff. So the first one that I found, this is a Lottie Daw. This is Backyard Birds. And I just love the tones of this. I will probably stitch this one very close to the look of this. So I thought that was a cute one to have. I'm going to try not to show you the chart because that's just a one-page chart. Okay, so what else was... Oh, this one. I've never seen anything by this little by little. I thought this was cute. It's called Chili Frillies. So I snagged that one. And then I think this was my other one. And this is kind of hard to see. This is a Not Forgotten Farms. And this is Woodland Christmas. And I thought that was really cute. I'm really into like anything squirrels or acorns right now for some reason and rabbits. And I thought this was so cute. 
so I snagged that one. It was also in the sale. So then I actually was looking for um, Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread, Mary Holly Berries. And they showed that they had three of them. So I literally looked through every bin in that entire store and did not find one. So the pattern guard gods were not with me on that day. That's okay though, because they're gonna order it and they will hold it for me till the next time I'm in. But that did not mean I did not find other Brenda Bay's things while I was in there. But first, I will say I've been I've been wanting to purchase Heartstring Samplery's festive Christmas fobs. So I went ahead and snagged that one. I love this cardinal and I love the Mary and Joseph and Baby Jesus and the Quaker points up. So I'm excited about that one. So the ones that I grabbed up from the Brenda Gervais bucket was a Tisket a Tasket. Um, I have that candle holder that I'm doing with strawberries and stripes. So this size is perfect to have to be able to swap out if you do the magnetic and not a permanent situation. And then I got, um, this is October Feast, and I think this one is so cute. And we have a swap coming up in our local group, and it's either fall or Halloween. So I'm kind of hoping I get somebody who wants fall stitching, because this is what I will do. And I love how they finished it with this little pom-pom on this stool. And I went ahead and got the called for threads, because um, fragrant cloves, yes, anything with fragrant cloves. I love that floss. I love it. So I went ahead and snagged those. That was the only floss I bought. Okay, me. And then the other one that I got, I have not seen this one before, but it's two patterns in one. And this is Where Liberty Dwells. One, you know my love of the eight-pointed star, the Ohio star. And I love this one up here, too. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Again, no, no formal plant. Okay, so then, while I was looking in Brenda Gervais' bucket, I was like, let me look at the one below it in case, you know, like, Mary Holly Berry just jumped down there. No, it was Jeanette Douglas, but I don't have any Jeanette Douglas in my stash. Now I do. So the first one, Love of Acorns, was, is Acorn Shaker Box. I think this is so cute. Love it. So that's cutesy. And then I saw this. This is part of the A Most Suitable Name series she did. If you can't read what that says, it says it's Alphabet Annie. I'm Annie. I'm a teacher. I love alphabets. So Alphabet Annie had to come home with me. Plus it's got Quaker motifs. And plus I'm a queen and that's a queen's crown right there. So anyway, that was a pretty good score and um, I was pretty proud of myself. I didn't spend too much. So yeah, I'm running out of places to put things. So the floor it is. All right, so then, let me look what else. Oh, okay, so quite some time ago, like a month or so ago, Barbara Owl Creations, they, she is on Etsy. I had found her through Fuzzy Fox Designs. Fuzzy Fox Designs, um, when they started their sow at the beginning of the year, Magic Mini Monsters, her mock-up of it was on a beautiful piece of fabric from Barbara Owl Creations. Barbara Owl's Creations is in Hungary. So it takes a while for things to get here. And then, of course, I got the pink slip in my box because I was not in my mailbox because I was not here on that day to pick it up on the 9th. And then I didn't actually pull it out of the box until several days later because it got kind of shoved down in there. So I was like, man, I got fabric sitting in it office it needs to be home with me so she had posted some little grab bags um, so I think these are eight by eight pieces and so you actually knew what you were going to get you picked you had to read the listing but um, I got a 14 count pack and an 18 oh no excuse me in a 20 count pack and I picked the ones with the colors I liked um, so this one has in it this is the 14 count this is light stone This is poison. Oh my gosh, is that amazing? Amazing. Like, I need a Snow White piece to, to, to stitch on that. Link me some Snow White pieces. And rainbow. So cool. This would be awesome with like an all black work piece or something on it. I don't know. 
Okay, so that was my 14 count pack. And these are eight by eight, so I mean, they're, they're a decent size. And the price was, you could not beat. And her shipping is really reasonable too, which I don't know how she does that, but she does. Um, and then I think I had a freebie too. Let me see what my freebie was. Not that. Not that. Excuse my elbow. Okay, if I come across it in a minute, I'll show you. Because the stash is going to be the lengthiest part. Because i got some monthly things too. So this is the 20 count. And I'm going to try to um, move which one of these are, I think. This is, um, hold on. This is Simply Beige, really pretty neutral. And this is 20 count again. This is a Toll. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. And then this one, Old Witch's Cape. Old Witch's Cape, so cool. I keep saying so cool, but they are so cool. I mean, and you know, it's good quality. So, I think she might have still had some listed. So, Barbara All Creations. And I'll show you how to do, how to say, say, um, spell her shop. Barbara All Creations. And she's on Etsy. So, head on over there. Let's see what she has left. Okay, let me move a little faster here. Okay. So then, let's see, what I get off of Stash Unload? Okay, I didn't have much from Stash Unload this week. It was good. It was good this week. I did grab up a, peach, a piece of this Zweigert Stitchy Band. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it was $2 or something, and I've been wanting to try some. And then I got, this is a 20 count Silk Weavers in Mango. This is a pretty large piece. This is an 18 by 26 piece. Of some 20 count silk weavers. I got this from the same person. Another 20 count silk weavers in lilac. And then she gave me an ornament size freebie. I think that's on an even weave, so I probably won't use it. And then she was also selling Krynek Swa Dalger. This is 45 yards of color 206, and this is close to 924. And she did a deal where if you purchased a silk, which I her silks were very reasonably reasonably priced as well. Everything else ship free. And these fabrics are, are beefy. They're beefy fabrics. Hold on. Alright. What's next? I don't know where to go next. Okay. Yes, I do. Victorian motto. Okay, so remember how I said I had ditched all my other floss clubs so I could do 12 skeins each of the limited and the primitive worth it. First month out the gate, worth it. Okay, so this is the limited editions, and I got 12. She runs 18, so there's six that I did not get. This is Mountaintop and Oregon Trail. Some of these have DMC conversions, not those two. Got Ring of Marigolds and Asparagus Tips. And those have DMCs. Pink Wildflowers, a new Boo Berry. I'm thinking Boo Berry like the cereal because that's really cool. This reminds me a lot of like $9.96 or $38.90 or $38.91. It doesn't have a DMC conversion, but it sure does look close to one of those. Royal Prince and Canyon Wildflower. Gorgeous. Quilted Diamonds and Golden Sunset. Beautiful. Storm at Sea and Mingling Vine. So now this was the, the thing that gets me. I'm gonna try to show you all these at the same time. I mean, literally, I need to find a project that uses all these colors together, because they, I mean, she did a whole, I mean, the color theory here. It's a whole, it's a whole color palette, basically. Look at that. <sighs> Take my breath away. Anybody see the new Top Gun? Oh my gosh, I have watched that trailer like 10 times. Like I heard the little inkling of my way to the danger zone. I was like, yes! Can it be summer 2020 yet? Oh, I don't even really like Tom Cruise anymore. But I'm going to tell you, he was like one of my crushes back in the late 80s. That movie. That movie. 
and a volleyball scene and I saw some inklings that there may be some other kind of sweaty, muscle-bound athletic scene. <sighs> Top Gun Maverick. You know what else is coming soon? I need prim and proper about this. Downton Abbey is coming soon. Okay, back to Victorian mottos. So we got ourselves, this is primitive, primitive limited editions. So we've got old timer and northern wheat. Old timer and northern wheat. Twilight fog and glorious rose. Oh, those two together. That's nice. Antique porcelain and cactus bloom. Sailing ship and castle stone. English, iris, desert brown stones. Those two together are really pretty too. Most of these do not ever have DMC conversions. Everlast, sage, and Sahara sand. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. Will it be a successful? I don't know. We're going to try. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So Nancy, home run, another month, home run. Yep, 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 yep. So if you are not getting Victorian mottos, you should. I'm in the club, so I'm okay with inviting other people to the club. I'm even okay with sharing my mystic fabrics with people, but it makes it a little more challenging. But that's okay because I need to take a break as evidenced by the fact that I didn't even need to buy anything and I bought more stuff. Ah, I found my freebie. So Bob Rao sent me this beautiful, this was my extra freebie thing. Let me see if this has something on it. Okay, so here's her details. It's really hard to see. I don't think that will focus. Nope, not gonna happen. But she is barbaralcreations.etsy.com. She sent me her freebie and this is beautiful I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tell me some ideas it is some hand dyed pure silk ribbon and this is in peach kiss oh good grief I hadn't even pulled that out yet that is insanely gorgeous oh my gosh beautiful beautiful worth the wait not even buy that but it's gonna make me want to go and see what other trim she has yep. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that trim it's really pretty. I need to take it out of that bag so it doesn't continue to be wrinkled. Okay. So then, the fabric games on Sunday. I didn't need to participate. Did I participate? Yes, I did. Um, so, yeah. Let me see. What do I want to show first? Okay, so I... Hmm. I don't really want to show you these in the packages, but I forgot to open them for sure. Read. This was 20 count. Because so I said to her, hey, I'm noticing a lack of 20 counts. I'll do some this week. Well, did she ever? Look at this one. So this is a turquoise. This is a 20 count opalescent. Ugh. This screams for like a C pattern of some kind. Jennifer Upton, tell me about a mermaid. She's the queen of mermaids. Ooh, and she is a fast stitcher too. She has turbo hands. Turbo hands. I need I need to I need her to teach me her ways. Alright, so then this is a 16 count. Rip it off like a band-aid. Like a band-aid, I say. Ooh, this one's beautiful. Ugh, look at this. This purpley, it is really not doing it justice, is it? Let's see if I get this white in there. Come on, color. Okay, well, anyway, it is a beautiful purple. That's much better. Beautiful purple. Okay, we got that. Um, this one, oh, that's really pretty. This is an 18 count dusty rosy color out of terracotta. And then one more. 
This is an 18 count and it's just a good neutrally sand color. Okay, so then a couple weeks, uh, about a week before that, she had done a, um, hey, anybody want any of the new ink circles or anything from ink circles? And she does a little bit of, a little bit of a discount if you buy from her. And then she ships it with your fabric. So with my fabrics, I got my ink circles order. So the first of which, I already have some of these with the floss in them. So the first one is Flag Day. I had seen someone who had, with, had stitched this with the DMC Colorese that was in the blue, red, gray colorway. I found a hand dyed by Rolanda cotton floss that's in red, white, and blue. So I'm going to be doing Flag Day in variegated red, white, and blue. So I'm excited about that one. The one of the, I think this was the only new one I purchased, which was um, Henna Mandala. Um, and it's beautiful. And it calls for, um, yes, red clay by, by Gloriana. Well, I have that I had gotten from Stash on Loan. This is a silks for you. And I went through and I pulled the hank and then I just snipped one time. So I have these gigantic long threads. But look at how pretty, I think this would be great for that red, mandala, red henna. Red henna? The henna mandala. So I think I'm going to use this for that. I'm thankful for my long extra Victoria Motto bags because it works perfectly for this hank of silk. So then um, while she was placing the order, I figured um, Village Square. So I think this one's really cute. Um, these knees. And look at how cute. The tiny little bees. And then this is kind of cool. I don't, I don't, I've got to do a little more investigating on how you do this. But she, there's actually a whole breakdown with the spreadsheet of where people have done, this is the Roll Your Own Mandala Set 7. So there's, there's quite a number of these. But it includes this pattern and then all of these as well. And then it includes some colorways. Four, no, yes. Eight different mandalas, one large, seven small, four different colorways, plus instructions to create your own because it's basically a light, medium, dark. But then she links on her website, on the Ink Circles website, to a spreadsheet that has where anybody who's done any of these or any other color conversions, they can put in their own and name them and it gets added to the spreadsheet. And I thought, hey, that's really cool. So, that's all the haul. That's all the haul in of the stash. I'm checking to make sure. Let me, let me toss all this back in here so I don't have an avalanche in a minute. And then I need to talk about some, some passing the stuff. Passing the stash. Because I have some, um, I just probably showed you my address. If you want to send me something. If you have my address, you can send me something. Um, let me grab these things. I'll be right back. I'm getting it all back in here. Oh, well, that's good enough. Okay. So, last week, I, I have found these, all these old magazines. And so I had shared some patterns. So I had three patterns up for grabs. So I had the bird, and I had said, if you want to stitch this, you say, I would like to stitch the bird. There was only one person that wanted to stitch this pretty bird. And that's okay, because that one person is going to get it. So, D. Blingwood. I'm going to comment on your original comment and I will send this to you. It will come uh, tri-folded in an envelope with U.S. postage, unless you're not in the U.S. And I hope to get that out to you on Monday. So watch for me to respond to your comment about the birds. All right, so then I had the teapots. This was tea party, tea party treats. So there was this motif. this motif and these little motifs and then on the back there was even a cute little ribbon embroidery thing as a, as a bonus so there were two people that wanted to stitch this and I did even and one of them was deep Wood. put them both in Marie Han you get the teapots and so I will um, again comment your original comment saying awesome here's my email Send me your address so I can send you those patterns or that magazine pattern. All right, then the last one, and this one actually had two people that wanted to stitch it. 
This was camping. This was the cute little truck, camper van, and sailboat. So there were two people that wanted to stitch this. So Megan Cornelius, you will be getting this pattern sent to you. So watch for me to comment on your original one, on your comment from my last video. All right, one more thing. I got two patterns this week. So if you made it this far, you have an opportunity to have one of these sent to you. So the first one, this one is Floral Alphabet Pillow, and I will tell you the word in a second. So I think this one's really cute. You wouldn't have to actually finish it as a pillow. So I would like to stitch the flowers. I would like to stitch the flowers. And then this one, I this one is over my, is above my pay grade in stitching. But I would love to see somebody do this. So this is, um, oh and sorry, that other one was from Cross Stitch and Needlework, April 1997. This is also from Cross Stitch and Needlework, April 1997. And this is the strawberry sampler. And you can see it's got specialty stitches, some specialty like eyelet type Hardinger. Hardinger? Um, so I would love to see somebody stitch this. So I would like to stitch the strawberry. So again, I would like to stitch the flowers. I would like to stitch the strawberry. I only have two this week. So folks, that's about all we got. So I hope you have a great week. Hope you've enjoyed seeing what I stitched on this week and we'll see what I get going this next week. I hope to maybe have, maybe, maybe have a start on my very first Nora Corbett, the V Fairy. Um, I'm gonna do a, some color converting on that. So we'll see how much time I have to do that this weekend. And if it gets started this next week, I'll share it with you next Friday. We'll be back for Foss Tube 11, 11, 11. 11. So again, if you've stuck with me through 10 of these, wow, you're awesome. And if nobody's told you you're awesome today, you are. And I really want you to know how much joy you bring me. I know my, my handle is Joy Filled Stitcher. Stitching brings me joy, but, but I will say that your comments and your positivity, both here and on Instagram, really do bring joy into my life and I hope that I maybe bring you a little smile, a little chuckle, a little giggle or you know whatever. So have a great week. Lots of blessings to you and get some good stitching in okay until we see each other again. Bye guys.